Hello everyone, and welcome to Tamriel's Tales. Today we're reading commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes by Mankar Cameron. There are four different books, but I've decided to combine them for this video. Just because in Oblivion you have to have all four of them to find the hidden message. And since they're not that long, don't want to make you have to keep listening to the intro. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and begin. Book 1. Greetings, novitiate, and no first a reassurance. Mankar Cameron was once like you. Asleep, unwise, protonymic. We mortals leave the dreaming sleeve of birth the same, unmantled save for the symbiosis with our mothers, thus to practice and thus to reproachment, until finally we might through new eyes leave our hearths without need or fear that she remains behind. In this moment we destroy her forever, and enter the domain of Lord Dagon. Reader, this book is your door to that domain, and though you will be a destroyer, you must still submit to locks. Lord Dagon would only ever have those clever enough to pause. All else the Orbis claims in their full running. Walk first, heed. The impatience you feel is your first slave to behead. Enter as Lord Dagon has written. Come slow and bring four keys. Know that then you are royalty, a new breed of destroyer, whose garden shall flood with flowers known and unknown, as it was in the mythic dawn. Thus shall you return to your first primal whale, and yet come out different. It shall this time be Neonimbiosis, master akin to master, whose mother is miasma. Every quarter has known us, and none bore our passing except with trembling. Perhaps you came to us through war, or study, or shadow, or the alignment of certain snakes. Though each path matters in its kind, the prize is always thus. Welcome, novitiate. That you are here at all means that you have the worthiness of kings. Seek thy pocket now and look. There is the first key, glinting with the light of a new dawn. Night follows day, and so know that this primary insight shall fall alike into the turbulent evening sea where all faiths are tested. Again, a reassurance. Even the usurper went before the Iliac, before he rose up to claim his fleet. Fear only for a second. Shaken belief is like water for a purpose. In the garden of the dawn we shall breathe whole realities. Enter as Lord Dagoth has written. Come slow and bring four keys. Our order is based on the principles of his mighty razor. Novitiate, questing knight, chaplain, and master. Let the evil ones burn in its light, as if by the excess of our vision. Then shall our knowledge go aright. However, recall that your sight is yet narrow, and while you have the invitation, you have not the address. My own summons came through a book Lord Dagon wrote himself in the deserts of rust and wounds. Its name is the Mysterium Xarxes, Aldmirtata Aggregate, forefather to the wife of all enigma. Each word is razor-fed and secret, thinner than cataclysms, tarnished like red drink. That I mention it at all is a testament to your new rank, my child. Your name is now cut into its weight. Palace, hut, or cave, you have left all the fog worlds of conception behind. Numantia, liberty, rejoice in the promise of paradise. Endlessly it shall form and reform around you, deeds as entities. All systems only an hour before they bloom to zero sums, flowering like vestments. Divine raiment worn to dance at Lord Dagon's golden feet. In his first arm, a storm, his second, the rush of plagued rain, the third, all the tender of anew, and the fourth, the very eyes of Padme. Philip lifted in thine heart that you have this first key for it shall strike high and low into the worm-rot of false heavens. Roaring, I wondered until I grew hoarse with the gospel. I had read the mysteries of Lord Dagon, and feeling anew went mad with the overflow. My words found no purchase until I became hidden. These were not words for the common of Tamriel, whose clergy long ago feigned the very existence of the dawn. Learn from my mistake. Know that humility was Mankar Cameron's original wisdom. Come slow, and bring four keys. Offering myself to that daybreak allowed the girdle of grace to contain me. When my voice returned, it spoke with another tongue. After three nights, I could speak fire. Red drink, razor fed, I had glimpsed the path into the garden, and knew that to inform others of its harbor, I had to first drown myself in search's sea. Know ye that I have found my fleet, and that you are the flagship of my hope. Greetings, novitiate. Mankar Cameron was once you asleep, unwise, protonymic, but am no more. Now I sit and wait to feast with thee. 
on all the worlds of this cosmos, Numantia, liberty. Book 2. Whosoever findeth this document, I call him brother. Answers are liberations, where the slaves of Malbioge that came to know Numantia cast down their jailer king, Mastiac, which the Xerxes Mysterium calls the Arcane. Mastiac, whose carcass was dragged through the streets by his own bone walkers, and whose flesh was opened up on rocks thereon, and those angels who loved him, no longer did drink from his honey dickers, screaming, Let all know free will and do as they will. Your coming was foretold, my brother, by the Lord Dagon and his book of razors. You are to come as idols drop away from you one by one. You are exalted in eyes that have not yet set on you. You... Swain de well travelled to shatterer of mantles. You, brother, are to sit with me in paradise, and be released of all unknowns. Indeed, I shall show you his book and its foul and many-feathered rubric, so that you can put into symbols what you already know. The sphere of destruction is but the milk of the unenslaved. I fault not your stumbling, for they are expected and given grace by the oils. I crave not your downfalls, though without them you might surpass me even in the coming earth of all infinities. Lord Dagon wishes you no ills but the momentous, and as he wants, you must want, and so learn from the pages of God this, the ritual of want. Whisper to earth and earth, where the meddlers take no stones except to blood, as blood is blood, and to the cracking of bone, as bone is bone, and so to crack an answer and fall before the one and one. I call you dragon, as brother and king. Hides of dreg seven and seven, draught of oil one and one, circles drawn by wet debellites, three concentric, and let their lower blood fall where it may, a berth watched by blackbirds. Hearthfire first, and can the following when your hearing becomes blurred. Enraptured, he who finally goes unrecorded. Recorded, the slaves that without knowing turn the wheel enslaved all the children of the Orbis as it is. Book 3. The tower touches all the mantles of heaven, brother novitiates, and by its apex one can be as he will, more be as he was and yet changed for all else on that path for those that walk after. This is the third key of Numantia, and the secret of how mortals become makers and makers back to mortals. The bones of the wheel need their flesh, and that is mankind's heirloom. Oathbreakers beware, for their traitors run through the nimic paths, runner dogs of prolix gods. The dragon's blood have hidden ascension in six thousand years of ethereal labyrinth, which is arena, which they yet deny is oath-bound. By the book, take this key and pierce the divine shell that encloses the mantle-takers, the skin of gold, scarab a orbex. Woe to the oath-breakers! Of the skin of gold, the Xerxes Mysterium says... Be fooled not by the forlorn that rides astray the roadway, for they lost faith, and this losing was caused by the Adra, who would know no other planets. Whereby the words of Lord Dagon instructs us to destroy these faithless. Eat or bleed dry the gone forlorn, and gain that small will that led them to walk the path of Godhead at the first. Spit out or burn to the side that which made them delay. Know them as the monomaly. Every new limb is paid for by the underknown, See, brother, and give not more to the Hydra. Reader, you will sense a shadow choir soon. The room you are in right now will grow eyes and voices. The candle or spell light you read this by will become gateways for the traitors I have mentioned. Scorn them and fear not. Call them names. Call out their base natures. I, the Mancar of Stars, am with you, and I come to take you to my paradise, where the tower traitors shall hang on glass racks until they smile with a new revolution. That is your ward against the Manimali. They run blue through noise, and shine only when the earth trembles with the eruption of the newly mantled. Tell them, go, Gartok al Mnim, God has come, Numi Mora, Num Delay Mnim. Once you walk in the mythic, it surrenders its power to you. Myth is nothing more than first once, unutterable truth. Ponder this while searching for the fourth key. Understood laws of the Arcanature will fall away like heat. First tower dictate, render the mutant bound, where he may do no more harm. As god of the mundus, alike shall be his progeny, split from their divine sparks. We are eight time eight exarchs. Let the home of Padme see us as sole exit. Chim, 
Those who know it can reshape the land, witness the home of the Red King once jungled. He that enters paradise enters his own mother, I Alma Ruma. The orbis endeth in all ways. Endeth we seek through our dawn, all endeth. Falter now and become one with the wayside orphans that feed me. Follow and I shall adore you from inside. My first daughter ran from the Dagonite Road. Her name was Ruma, and I ate her with no bread and made another, which I learned and I loved that one and blackbirds formed her twin behind all time. Starlight is your mantle, brother. Wear it to see by and add its light to paradise. Book 4 May the holder of the fourth key know the heart thereby. The Mundex terrain was once ruled over solely by the tyrant dread kings, each to their own dominion, and border wars fought between their slave oceans. They were akin to the time totems of old, yet evil and full of mockery and profane powers. No one that lived did so outside of the sufferance of the dregs. I give my soul to the Magna G, saith the joyous in paradise, for they created Maroons, the razor in secret, in the very bowels of Lig, the domain of the upstart who vanishes. Though they came from diverse waters, each get shared sole purpose, to artifice a prince of good, spinning his likeness in random swath, and imbuing him with oblivion's most precious and scarce asset, hope. Deathlessly I intone from paradise, Maroon's the thief-taker, Maroon's God's body, Maroon's the red arms that went up, Numantia, liberty, Deny not that these days shall come, my novitiates. For as Maroons threw down leg and cracked his face, declaring each of the nineteen and nine and nine oceans free, so shall he crack the serpent crown of the Cyrodiils and make federation. All will change in these days as it was changed in those. For with by the magic word Numantia, a great rebellion rose up and pulled down the towers of Chim El Garig, and the Templars of the upstart were slaughtered, and blood fell like dew from the upper wards down to the lowest pits, where the slaves with maniacal faces took chains and teeth to their jailers, and all hope was brushfire. Your dawn listens, my lord. Let all the Orbis know itself to be free. Maroons is come. There is no dominion save free will. Suns were riven as your red legions moved from Lig to the hinterlands of Chill. A legion for each get. And Curie was thrown down, and Dioff was thrown down, and Hormagile was crushed with cold salt, and forevermore called Hor. And so it shall be again under the time of the gates. Under the mires, Malbiage was thrown down, that old city of chains, slaked in new bone warmth, and set free. Galg and Morgalg were thrown down together in a single night of day, and shall it be again under the time of the gates. Nothing but woe for Nern which have become the pit, and seven curses on its dreg, the verme ni mock, but for it the crusades would be as my lord's creation. Get by the gi, and do as thou wilt. Of no fetters but your own conscience. Know that your hell is broken, people of the Orbis, and praise the Numantia, which is liberty. Thank you so much for listening today. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to support this podcast, maybe consider supporting my coffee, Patreon, or throne, all of which can be found by searching Tamriel with the extra L-E at the end. If you're interested in watching the stories of the games, maybe check out my playthroughs on my YouTube, Tamriel. Or, if you'd just like to see what I'm up to, you can find my Twitter and Instagram at xtamriel, just with the extra little x at the beginning. Thank you so much for listening again, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.